All right, guys. Here's the deal. We've got an amazing company here. You love robots. I love robots. It's exciting. Even Callie on GeekBeat, who we're syndicating to, she loves robots. She's probably going to love this segment then. What's up, John P? Giving you some love, too. Don't worry. All right. So we've got Alex and Jack from Alderbaran, uh, and, the, and it's now. That's the robot, right? Yeah. The name is Aldebaran Robotics, yeah. and we're here with the now robot coming in the event and interacting with the public, um, especially with developers, to show them what we have. Tell me about what the robot does. I mean, it does a lot. It dances. I see it moving. You guys had a big event on the stage here just a few minutes ago. Tell me what the robot can do. So one of our favorite lines is the robot does everything and nothing at the same time. When you get it out of the box, it kind of just sits there. But you know, you think, oh, I want a robot that also does everything. I want the robot that you know is from the future, something that you know welcomes me when I'm home. So we have the functionality to do all these things. We have a robot that can talk to us, it can listen to us, it can look at us with its cameras, it can recognize our face, it can walk around, it can, uh, it can dance. But uh, what we stress is that you as a developer, you as a user, has to program the robot to do these things. What's up now? What's going on? It was blinking before, and then if you talk, it'll look at you, right? Is that correct? Is that how you've programmed it, or it just knows, or what's the deal? So it, it does a little bit of everything. Sometimes it'll it'll pick up on noise. We actually turn it off here because there's a lot of background noise, and uh, you know we don't want it looking, you know, whipping, whipping his head back and forth. But he's actually looking at our faces. He can recognize when you look at him, and when you when he makes eye contact with you, that means he's he's recognizing you. He he wants to make eye contact with you and start some sort of interaction. And 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 can I program it to go get me a soda from the fridge? It's a question everyone always asks. Uh, it's a little too small for that. Yeah. It's really uh, the the hands are mostly meant for gesturing. And so it's not meant for physical labor, but anything within the confines of its you know, physical stature, you can pretty much do with it. So can I get it to uh, fist pump my son Jack? You can. No, it actually and already does that. <laughs> we have that. We have that application yes. on there. And how about shake hands? Yeah. yeah. And high fives, of course. All right. Yeah. And and so uh, d does it come out of the box with some apps already built in that you can do? I mean, is the community as it grows, as I program it to do something, is that available to everybody? It definitely has, um, it does have a basic um, package of applications with basic functionality. Um, it can interact with you socially as well. We have a very large uh, developer community that purchased the robot and then developed their own ideas on him and applied them to their field of interest. Um, we have a lot of educational programs as well. For instance, we have an amazing program called Ask Now in which uh, the robot is programmed to interact with children with autism based on different therapies like ABA, TEACH, PECS. And then he goes in the classroom and is able to reach the children and help them come out of their little shell. And um, the teacher uses him as a tool. I think that's great. We did a documentary a few years ago with Daryl Strawberry and the Daryl mm -hmm. Strawberry Foundation. He's a former baseball player. He's a legend. Um, and and he's a great guy. And he's got a foundation called the Daryl Strawberry Foundation. They give back to autism greatly. They do great stuff with them. And we got to spend time with autistic families with autistic children. We got to spend time at the facilities that they help uh, sponsor. And I think that this is a great for that application. It's just tremendous because, you know, technology really helps the children with autism. And, and it's not just children. It's pe all people with autism, right? Because that's what their foundation does. It, 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 it helps that, you know, once they age out of the system, um, it helps with them then. And it affects the family so greatly. So anything that can affect positively the children and adults with autism is terrific and I can see how this would have such an impact on them and I love that. How much is the robot? So it costs about $8,000 uh, and it's a little bit cheaper if you're working in the developers program. Okay. But uh, that's kind of the reason why it's not available for home consumerism yet. You know, everyone sees the robot they think, oh that's super cool, I want one in my home to dance for me, you know, to play songs. Uh, but really we're not at a point where that's really feasible yet, at least price-wise. price, price wise. So that's why we, uh, we really market it towards educators, towards researchers, people that, that have money that can use the robot for something not only very cool, but also something very useful and good. Now, so it's $8,000, and if you're an autism center somewhere in this country, uh, how much is it for them? Is there a discount? You said there's a discount for developers, but is there a discount for autistic centers, for autism centers? For the centers, it's, it's the same price, okay. but they get the robot not only as a clean slate, they get it um, with a pack of applications, about 50 applications designed okay. on therapies for autism. Yeah. Um, and they also get it with a programming platform 
if the teachers want to change the applications or an interface in which they can easily create their own lesson plans and target each child based on his needs. Awesome. Very cool. Mm -hmm. They want to know, can you make the robot dance? We can do that, sure yes. Thing. All right. So <laughs> we got to go to commercial. We've got a raffle coming up. You guys are great. How do people find out about it real quick? Uh, you can go to our website, uh, www.aldebaran.com. Okay. And go to the website, check out the robot, get involved in the developer community, and I love what this represents for the future. I think it's great. Yes, the price point is high, but eventually it will come down, and I think you mentioned some really great reasons and what it is, so it's cool. I love what it can do, and I love the possibility in the future. Let's make it dance as we go to commercial. When we come back, we're going to have some giveaways, not only for you at home, but the audience here as well. We're going to have some giveaways for these guys as well. Let's make... Oh, look, it's waving. <laughs> How does it know we're? Is it, it knows we're saying goodbye. It knows that it knows that we're looking at it, and, and there's multiple people here. So. I love it. Yeah. All right, now, and do you name each one? Is that got a name? We do. Yes. This is Sergio. All right, Sergio, can you dance for me? Sergio's gonna dance for you. All right. I wish we had the song Mr. Roboto. It would be so cool. <laughs> we're gonna take that to commercial, and we'll come back right after this with more live coverage from Engadget Expand on Be Terrific, presented by Adorama Picks. Don't forget to download our app. BeTerrific.com slash app. You can watch all our live content, watch our archive stuff, and follow us and engage with us. And uh, don't forget to go to Adorama Picks to Adorama Picks Your Prints at AdoramaPicks.com. Let's dance, Sergio. Okay. Set it up? Yeah, set it up. Here we go. We're going to dance and... He's talking. I like that. Yeah. My most famous dance. This is awesome. Here we go. And are we ready? We're going to take you to commercial with a little dance move. Some Michael Jackson. I love it. Don't stop till you get enough. 